Hello and welcome. Here is an idea for you to get things pulling in the right direction. Many of your customers, either commercial or individuals, have trailers. These come in all sizes and varieties. The things they all have in common is they roll and they require maintenance. When a customer approaches you about a trailer repair, it is an excellent opportunity for you to assist them by covering all the possible items they may need to properly maintain their trailer. There is nothing more aggravating than being stranded on a job or on vacation with a trailer breakdown. Plus, in many cases, it's a huge safety concern. The organized way to help your customer is to start at the tow vehicle and work your way back through the trailer. First, is their ball mount the correct one? Towing a trailer at a level stance is always the best. You probably have several ball mounts in stock, and there are also the variable mounts that allow commercial customers to vary the tongue height for various trailers and ball sizes and configurations. The ball itself is a critical component in towing. It should be a single piece part and in good condition. Don't forget the pin and the cotter that hold the mount into the receiver. A nail or a piece of bailing wire are not a good idea. As long as we are at the front of the trailer, let's talk about lights. Several different configurations of plug-ins exist. Be sure their connectors are in good shape and fit snugly. Trailer lighting has been greatly improved by LEDs. Less draw and longer life options are greatly improved. Don't forget, most trailers require side lights and license plate illumination. If the trailer is equipped with dust caps, suggest a set of bearing buddies and their covers. Moving back the trailer, we get to the axles. One, two, and three axle variations are not uncommon. Each of these axles provides opportunities for problems or sales. If you get the sale prior, you save the failure for the customer. Light duty and medium duty trailers have traditional straight axles and require bearings, races, and seals. Each side will typically have two bearings, two races, and an inner seal, plus lots of high temperature grease. If this is a watercraft trailer, it will get dunked and the bearings are going to be hot. Make sure the grease is high temp and waterproof. Many trailers have brakes. Some are electric and others are surge types. Shoes and drums need to be in good condition and properly lubricated. Trailers sit a lot and are subject to adverse environments. Sometimes just you reminding them helps keep them safe. If this trailer is used for carrying things, the proper hold downs are always required. They wear quickly due to abrasion and the elements. Selling these items to your customer can be a huge service. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.